So while electric cars are all the buzz for their positive impact on the environment, have you ever thought about what we're doing to decarbonise our marine industries and waterways like this? Given we currently use 330 billion litres of diesel every year in our marine environment, which is 50% more than the airline industry uses, it's a really big problem. It was this thought that started the journey to what must be one of the most fun innovations I have seen in a very long time. They're so responsive. And this prototype might just be the key. The company behind this amazing piece of equipment is eNordic, led by CEO Paul Steinman. So Paul, thanks so much for that. What an exhilarating ride. How did you come up with that? Well, we had a plan to make an electric craft, electric boat. And obviously the world's become used to electric cars. We wanted to electrify the boating industry and then save 80% of the power required to drive boats. So obviously that has a big effect on decarbonising the marine industry. But also hydrofoils are super comfortable as you've just experienced. They're dry and you don't have to deal with the effects of waves. So our plan was to take the electric car industry and roll that into boats. I've seen hydrofalls before. In fact, I kite surf on one myself. How did you come up with this and why is it different? So to make an electric boat work, if you just put a battery and electric drive in a traditional boat, the resistance of the weight of the batteries means that you don't get speed or range and you can't match a traditional vessel. By putting the vessel on hydrofoils, you save 80% of the thrust, and so now you've got the speed and range of a traditional boat in an electric boat. The ability to foil higher above the water means that you can operate in larger waves, and a key driver for the commercial returns on a vessel is the ability to operate all year round. So one of the benefits of hydrofoil craft is that you can make a boat smaller. The commercial operators for that means less upfront cost and less operating cost. So I've just ridden the Wavefly Velare. How did that vessel come about? Oh, that's a good question. The Wavefly Velare was driven by one of our uh, B2B clients, a, a major global manufacturer. We were originally developing inline craft, so two people sitting behind each other. A big US global manufacturer approached us and asked us to create a side-by-side -side experience. So that's what's driven the creation of the Velare that you've just been in. Following on from the Wavefly Velare, the next boat that we develop will be an extrapolation of that core technology, but it's going to be a uh, personal watercraft or a jet ski for lack of a better term. Uh, so that's two people sitting in line on a, like a motorbike seat. Um, and that's really aimed at providing jet ski users with an option to be silent, to create no wake and to have no emissions and yet still have all the thrills and spills of riding a jet ski. So the plans for the future, I understand uh, you've got some really interesting things coming up. Yeah, so what you've just experienced is a small scale uh, demonstration of our technology. The technology is targeted at larger vessels, including crew transfer vessels and fast ferries. Uh, there are also military applications. Moving on from these, the Velare and the Rogue will, will scale up the, the same technology and create larger vessels out of the same tech. I really want one. Can I buy one now? Yes, you can buy one of these now. We're taking pre-orders now for a short signature series production run. Uh, and those orders can be placed directly on our website. eNordic, an Australian technology company developing world-leading electric hydrofoil solutions. Without doubt, the most fun I've had on the water without getting wet. Right. <laughs>